Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2022 Acura MDX with the technology package, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The MDX is Acura's midsize three-row SUV. Redesigned for 2022, the newest version of the MDX gets sleek exterior styling, additional legroom in all three rows, and a long list of tech and interior updates. Besides exhibiting the typical strengths of its class, previous MDX generations offered impressive value for the money, something that can't often be said of its competitors. With updates to ride quality, interior room, and all-around styling, plus a high-horsepower Type S model on the horizon, the 2022 Acura MDX is again one of the more compelling picks for a luxury SUV. The 2022 Acura MDX offers four trim levels, also referred to as packages, MDX, Technology, A-Spec, and Advance. The base and technology trims come standard with front-wheel drive and offer all-wheel drive as an option. The upper trim levels come standard with all-wheel drive. The base model MDX starts at $46,900 and starts you off with a 290 horsepower V6 engine, a 10-speed automatic transmission, 19-inch wheels, panoramic sunroof, keyless ignition and entry, and a power liftgate. Interior and tech features include simulated leather upholstery, power adjustable heated front seats, reclining and sliding second row seats with removable center seat, a digital gauge cluster display, a 12.3 inch center display with touchpad controller, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, nine speaker audio system, wireless charging pad, and an onboard Wi-Fi. You also get Acura Watch, a suite of advanced safety features that bundles forward collision mitigation, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. The technology package starts at $51,600 and adds on 20 inch wheels, parking sensors, rain sensing wipers, leather upholstery, rear window sunshades, customizable interior ambient lighting, navigation system, and a 12-speaker sound system. The A-Spec package has a starting price of $57,100 and has a sportier exterior look, plus simulated suede seat inserts, cabin intercom system, ventilated front seats, and a 16-speaker premium audio system. The top trim level is the Advance, it has a starting price of $60,650. The Advance comes with the A-Specs extra features as well as a hands-free liftgate, surround view camera system, heads-up display, upgraded front seats with premium upholstery, heated steering wheel, and remote start from the key fob. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2022 Acura MDX. We are gonna spec out the technology package, but before we do, I just wanna remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. The Acura MDX competes with a lot of really good SUVs. I've done build and price reviews of many of them, such as the 2021 Honda Pilot in the EXL trim. I did the 2021 Toyota Highlander in the Platinum trim. I just recently did the 2021 Buick Envision Avenir. That's their top tier trim. And the Buick Avenir, it's actually a honey of an SUV. I like that SUV a lot. Also, I usually say three, but also there's one more that I got to get in today. The 2021 Infiniti QX50. I did it in the top tier autograph trim. Very nice SUV. So, after you watch this video, make sure you watch one or two of my other videos as well. Okay, so before we build out and price our 2022 Acura MDX, we're going to do the technology package. Let's go over the exterior colors. Let's take a look at the interior options, like the, the colors for choices of leather and whatnot. Let's go through the gallery, look at the features, all that stuff, and then we'll come back and click this little build tab over here. They got them all over the page, all up and down the website. So this color here is majestic black. Uh, here we got the liquid carbon uh, metallic. We've got the apex blue. I hardly ever see this color out on the road, honestly. Uh, performance red. There's a lunar silver. And there's a platinum white pearl. 
So we can do a 360 walk around, exterior walk around of the redesigned Acura MDX. Let's look at it in another color. Maybe we can see the lines a little better. Is that better in white? Yeah, maybe that's better in white. We can actually see the features, the, the, the creases along the body lines. White definitely is a better color than, than the Apex Blue. So it's rather dark in here, and the resolution's not that fantastic. But you know what? The interior is absolutely gorgeous in here. Now, they're showing an MDX with an A-spec package. So our technology one is not going to look like this. But here's the deal. The A-spec package has the suede inserts down the center of the seats. And I'm not really a fan of that. I'd rather... There, you can see a good shot of that suede right there. I'm not really a fan of that. Give me the... Uh, Give me the all leather interior and it's really dark down here so we can't see down into the footwell but we can see that it's a very nice presentation in here for sure they've got the push button transmission right there in the center i've been saying this everybody's going to it it's the new direction and then there's also a red interior here they're showing the red we won't take a whole big spin around again but we have a decent shot of the red interior look at the thick piping around the seats all that black piping that's quite nice i like that okay so let's go through the exterior gallery images now for the uh acura mdx uh it's not a bad looking suv it's okay i i it's i like the front end the front end is nice i like the daytime running lights there uh that's a good look i don't think it looks that great in red i think it looks better in a lighter color the wheels are okay. We can see the wheel design there. Uh, let's move on. Here's one out in the dirt. Won't probably see many of those out in the dirt. You'll probably see them more in a place like that on some concrete than the dirt there. And there's a beautiful shot of one right there. You can see the heads-up display into the upper dash. This one's very nice. This one looks like it might be the top-tier advanced trim with those beautiful tan leather seats so while we were saw we saw black and red interior they were showing us the a spec so we can clearly see that there are other seat color options besides what we saw there's a nice shot of those daytime running lights there's a good shot of the back end it looks okay it's a little soft the front end looks definitely better than the back end that's a nice shot there uh, and a really, really, really close up of the tail light. Let's move on. Okay, let's go through this interior gallery. The interior is absolutely just gorgeous. It really is. Look at the leather seats here. I love the color. Surely this is the top tier advance, but uh, wow, it's very impressive. Look at the panoramic sunroof. Uh, here they're showing us the. Uh, their infotainment and the drive modes that you can have snow comfort normal sport uh they throw these videos in here wireless phone charger uh you got a digital uh instrument cluster there with a digital speedometer one of my favorite features mm, that leather looks great look at all of that that looks fantastic and like i said there's your push button uh transmission and look, it says dynamic mode. There's just a knob to turn. You've got heated seats, heated and cool seats. So you got the heated and ventilated seats. Uh, that must be the A-spec interior here with the red and the red stitching on the steering wheel. Very nice presentation. I'm impressed. I definitely have to say that the interior is much nicer. It's a much nicer place. I mean, the outside's fine. The exterior's fine, but this interior is just they really outdid themselves here's a shot of the heads up display here's a great shot we can see some ambient lighting in here they got it at purple right now i'm sure there's multiple colors that one could choose from here's a beautiful shot of the whole uh interior so you can see all three rows of seating a uh, better shot of that push button transmission again you got your your touch pad here that probably helps you control the infotainment system. Yeah. Okay, we went through these photos. Let's move on. Okay, well, we went over the uh, trim levels and the features. We went over uh, the exterior colors, the interior colors, the gallery. Now, let's move on to the features. And we can see here there's performance features, exterior features, interior and comfort, audio and connectivity, safety and technology. And then they even go over the accessories for the MDX. So first things first, 
regardless of trim level, well, they call them packages, regardless of which package uh, you have for your MDX, they all come with the same engine. It's a V6, it's a 3.5 liter, it makes 290 horsepower, 267 pound-feet of torque, it's made it to a 10-speed uh, transmission, Four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive is standard on the upper trim levels, but can be had uh, in the lower trim levels. Here they show the all-wheel drive. SH stands for Super Handling All-Wheel Drive. Oh, it's worth noting here: front-wheel drive, 3,500 pounds towing capacity. All-wheel drive, 5,000 pound towing capacity. Here they're talking about the suspension. Uh, specifically the handling uh, new double wishbone front suspension i'm assuming shown in the red there uh, keeps your uh, mdx glued to the ground it's got a larger wheel and tire package as well so you got a new ultra rigid chassis the chassis is sitting on a longer wheelbase all this helps to create a more comfortable ride uh, less vibration and ambient noise in addition it's going to this new chassis improves handling response and performance Speaking of performance here, there we saw this in the gallery, the integrated dynamic modes. And so here they show their sport mode. There's a snow mode. We've got comfort, normal, and individual where you can customize up to five vehicle performance settings to dial in shifting, throttle response, suspension, and available interior ambient lighting to your precise specification i think it's worth noting that i i'm pretty sure everybody started taking this from i think bmw started this with their m car say for instance the bmw m5 or m3 or m6 any of them uh when you look at the steering wheel here you see those m buttons well you could set those m buttons up to be specific buttons so you could have your own settings and parameters and i'm pretty sure uh bmw was the first to offer buttons like that now everybody does it hence we can see that right here with the individual mode for the mdx uh for 2022 okay so we went over the performance features for the mdx now let's talk about the exterior features here again they're kind of just going over again the longer body it's got a tapering cabin they say it's got a powerful stance it's got increased interior space they say it's got the chicane LED DRLs. That stands for daytime running lights. Well, it's got a chicane because you got the little kink right here. Because you got to go around this chicane right there. That's like a racing term. So, uh, yeah, they say it gives a sense of, of motion. The exterior isn't bad looking. I still think that the interior is better looking than the, uh, than the uh, exterior. But it's growing on me. Here they go mentioning now. They, they're talking about the... Uh, the LED lighting. So you've got jewel eye LED headlights, and now they say the chicane LED tail lights. And then those uh those lights, those chicane tail lights, also have a 3D light blade. I guess they mean this right here on the side and that we can see inside there. So yeah, they really have <laughs> really put a lot of detail into this. If you want the sportiest MDX right now, because they don't have a Type S out yet, they're working on that. Um, you're gonna want the A spec. You get the you get gloss black accents. You can see everything's all darkened out, like the grill and the side mirrors and the lights and the lower fascia and the bumper and and all that. All your trim around the windows instead of it being your more traditional chrome, it's all blacked out. You get 20 inch wheels, LED fog lights. And so, yeah, they're trying to make an aggressive design. You get a flat bottom steering wheel, metal paddle shifters, uh, sport pedals, all that stuff. So here they're talking about their different paints. They're letting you know that, hey, if you want a premium paint finish, such as the Performance Red, the Liquid Carbon, Majestic Black, Platinum White Pearl, Phantom Violet, or the A-Spec, we must have missed some colors there, or the exclusive Apex Blue Pearl. Uh, yeah, they've got you covered there. So... When we go and build and price ours here in a second, we'll see if there's any additional colors we might have missed, or maybe some of the higher trim levels get some other colors that we just weren't aware of. So here they're talking about the wheel options that are available for the MDX. Uh, they say each MDX features an exclusive performance-focused wheel design, so they each have their own unique design. Uh, these 20-inch wheels are standard on the Advance. Uh, these 20-inch shark gray wheels are standard on the Apex. 
or a spec, <laughs> not apex. It's a spec. Then these 20 inch shark gray with machine finish. These are the ones that are going to come on the technology package. This is the V. This is the spec we're going to build in price on the channel here in a few. And then you've got this uh, 20 inch wheel here that you can get from the Acura uh, genuine genuine accessories. So you can order. You can option any of them with that. Uh, these are also accessory wheels there. And these diamond cut wheels, also 20 inch, are also uh, accessory wheels. And then here are your standard wheels, the 19 inch wheel that comes on your base model MDX. All right, let's talk about interior and comfort. It's beautiful in here. I said it in the gallery. I'm going to say it again. Uh, they're talking about the premium design. They say it's ultra refined. It's a technology, technologically advanced cabin. There's a digital precision cockpit, right? We see it all, the digital instrument cluster there, the infotainment screen. You've got the available ambient cabin lighting, uh, premium leather trim, right? Every model besides the base gets leather interior. They want to tell you this, this, this vehicle is the real deal. I mean, it's no BMW or Audi or anything like that, but they're letting you know it's got authentic materials, high-grade authentic materials. There's available open-pour wood accents, hand-wrapped leather dash, French stitching, premium craftsmanship. Yeah, that's probably going to be more on your top-tier advance, but they, you can get it if you want it. Here you can get a, a panoramic moonroof. Then they show you the three-row seating, available full-grain leather, wood trim, all that other stuff there. Uh, you can also get a captain's chair. You can fold down the center seat to create captain's chairs or remove the center seat to easily access the third row, they're saying here. Uh, and then they're showing the seating configuration. They're actually showing the advanced package with the espresso interior that I was going on about when we were looking at the gallery. So, yeah. Uh, ample room for seven people, uh, removable second row center seat, as they already said. Now they're just saying it again. Uh, yeah, cool. So if you put this, the, uh, the third row seats down, you're going to get 95 cubic feet of, uh, cargo capacity. There's also hidden cargo storage that has a reversible smart lid with a plastic slide that allows for easy cleaning and storing dirty items you can stow that lid to increase the capacity for bulkier items like a stroller and, and all that they've got a couple slides so we can kind of see uh the configure so here's all the seats up and dropping them down you can see everything yeah lots of room in there here's that little cubby down there just a little storage area yeah cool all right let's talk about audio and connectivity now uh here they're showing us the 12.3 inch High definition center display. It's the widest screen ever to be featured in the Acura. So they're they're really stepping outside their zone here. Uh, multi view rear view camera, music, available navigation. Uh, there's a true touchpad. We saw that touchpad uh, that's in the center console. We saw that in the gallery. You've got Apple CarPlay integration, wireless integration. You've got Android Auto integration. That's cool there. Uh, you've got Alexa if you're into all of that, and then they've got uh, then they talk about their high-end sound system. It's called the ELS Studio 3D, 16 speakers. Uh, so it says for true audio files. So if you're really into the music and the sound system, uh, and you want to spend the money, then this is the sound system to get on your Acura MDX. But, you know, it's not going to be available on the base model. Might not even be available on our technology model. Might only be available on maybe the top two trim levels. Because, again, they're showing, it says standard on A-spec and advanced packages. There you go. There you go. That kind of lets us know where it stands there. Not even sure if we can get it on the technology package. Every manufacturer has an app. Acura is no different. Here they're showing you the Acura link is what they call it. Uh, so it's your smartphone app. You can do things remotely start your car, uh, automated collision notifications, uh, roadside service. Uh, you can even have, there's a find my car feature and look at that. It even has an odometer. It even tells you what your mileage is, your oil life, tire pressure, uh, fuel range, good stuff. 
Here they're showing the Precision Cockpit 12.3 inch uh, information display or digital uh, instrument cluster. And that looks really nice. One of my all time favorite features, heads up display. Unfortunately, I don't think it's an option that we'll be able to get in our technology package, which that's okay. Here they're showing you the Wi Fi hotspot. Um, you can allow passengers to stream HD video for up to three devices. And you gotta, you gotta get a separate AT&T data plan for that. Nope, I'm out. Uh, wireless charging. Uh, yeah, wireless charging. They don't say that it's, it's available. So I'm assuming that standard uh, wireless charging in the MDX. So here's that Acura watch we talked about in the intro. Standard suite of safety features. Collisions, uh, collision mitigation braking system. Road departure mitigation, adaptive cruise control, uh, lane keeping assist, pedestrian detection, traffic sign recognition, and traffic jam assist. Here's some other ones that you can pop for available uh, driver assist features surround view camera, blind spot information, uh, rear cross traffic monitor, and a low speed braking control. Here, uh, we're down at the bottom of the page, actually. They're showing us the accessories for the 2022 Acura MDX, or at least some of them. Uh, running boards, dark chrome emblems, roof rails, bike attachments. Uh, what else do we have? Splash guard sets. That's cool. Crossbars, trailer hitch, and a roof box, medium. For interior accessories, that heated steering wheel, uh, premium carpeted mats. You can get a cargo cover. A folding cargo tray, uh, cargo protector, that's nice. Illuminated cargo sill trim, that's nice. All season floor mats, uh, an illuminated door sill trim, also nice. Okay, so we went through all the features. Let's get into the build. What color are we going to do? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really feeling any of the colors. We can see that a couple of colors require a package upgrade. We're going to end up package upgrading anyway. But you know what? Uh, you know what? Let's just leave the platinum white pearl. It's a $500 option. I think maybe they're all are. I'm not really sure, but let's do the platinum white pearl. Uh, for the interior, we've got the uh, the ebony. But here's the whole deal. We're gonna end up doing. We're gonna end up getting black leather interior because they show us the packages, but a little bit further down. It seems like you should do the packages first. But let's go ahead and do a, the 20 inch wheel. The 20 inch shark gray wheel because we know we're going to get the technology package and that's going to go ahead and bump us up to that package. So yes please it's a $4,700 upgrade. Now we've got that uh, drivetrain here. We want super handling all wheel drive. Let's go ahead and check that box. Packages. Now we have the technology package uh, and you know, it gives us the details of that technology package. Oh, fantastic. We do have the ELS Studio sound system, but we don't have that 16-speaker system. We've got a 12-speaker system. Seems like that last one we looked at was the 16-speaker system. Yeah, here's the advanced package. Yeah, the advanced package gets that 16-speaker system and a head-up display. It's all good, though. It's all good. Let's close that. So here's all our features of the technology package. It's a $4,700 upgrade. And then they had accessories down here. I wasn't really crazy about any of the accessories. They have all, they have 40 of them. Let's see. Oh, they got all kinds of stuff. The thing is, is that you can go down to the dealer and get this stuff whenever you want it. Uh, I think the fog lights would be cool. I'm going to just check these on ones that I like. Fog lights would be cool. I like the remote engine start. That's super cool. Uh, the logo, look at the logo pattern projector. So it throws an Acura logo when you open the door. That'd be for the night when you could really see that. Ah, I, at first I might thought I wanted it, but nah. What else do they have here? Valve stem caps. Uh, that's about it. I thought they were going to show us like the mud flaps and stuff like that. Oh, there they are. The splash guards. There's the splash guards for $150. Where like the illuminated door sills and all that? I don't see the illuminated door sills. So, you know what? I, I guess we won't worry about that. Oh, that was exterior accessories. Let's move on to interior. Okay, so I already went ahead and pre-checked all the interior accessories I like. Cargo cover, cargo protector. We got all the illumination stuff because there was a package down here at the bottom. So we have the cargo uh, sill trim illuminated. The sports steering wheel with heat. Illuminated door uh, trim, premium carpet mats. 
And see, we got this whole Illumination Plus package, which gave us all kinds of illuminated things. Door sill trim, cargo sill trim. Uh, when the vehicles unlocked, the white LED welcome light. So we got all that good stuff in there. All right, so let's move on to the summary. All right, so a 2022 MDX, we got it up to $58,000, so just under 60 grand uh, to put one of these in your garage or driveway or wherever you might park it. All right, so on that note, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this build and price review of the 2022 Acura MDX helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the very next video.